We have breaking news in Queen Anne's County, a significant development that will affect all Marylanders, especially ones traveling over the Chesapeake Bay. The third span is coming to Queen Anne's County. We're going to put the new bridge right here at Mattapeak Beach. It will start over at Sandy Point where the other bridges start, but it's going to loop around just sort of a serpentine shape. One of the things that's taken so long to get the new bridge is the cost, $15 billion in order to do this project. And nobody had the political will to make that happen. But there's one guy out there that was crazy enough to do this, Jeff Bezos. So why partner with Queen Anne's County to build this bridge? Well, I think um, if you look at the big ideas at Amazon, what we're really focused on is thinking long term, putting the customer at the center of our universe, and inventing. All we had to do was rezone some land by Camp Wright in order to allow him to build his new distribution facility. And he's going to pay for that new bridge. So with the addition to jobs that this is going to bring to our community, we are going to be the first county in the state of Maryland with an unprecedented workforce, waterfront housing community. In the Daily Bugle, you were quoted as saying that you want to turn Kent Island into the little Seattle acorn. Care to explain? Big things start small. Uh, you know, it, uh, the biggest oak starts from an acorn. Will he take care of the infrastructure also? He's paying for everything. Got the beginnings of the bypass bridge that will go through Cox Creek Sanctuary. A couple oyster beds that we have to dredge out and move. Oh, and the narrows, which will meet back up to Route 50 at the Route 50 301 split just past the outlets. Hey, Sal, put that down. Don't do that. When we, when we, we clear out all the wetlands, He's going to take care of that. Over here is where Amazon is going to be building the distribution center. And the most exciting thing is right here, this is the rollout of the buildings that they're going to put here. This is going to be their first ever drone launch facility. Think about Prime will have our ferries from floor to door for all residents of Queen Anne's County to have access to two hour drone delivery. And we're going to have a pedestrian bike path approximately 150 feet above the top deck. The top deck will go over the two center lanes of the bridge. This will allow for safe passage for pets and non-motorized bicycles. And I want to personally thank the folks on our pedestrian path committees. The guy's got tons of money, so for him, this is just sort of a community service thing that he's doing. You said that your only fear would be a 50% traffic hike for all the residents in Ken Island due to the infrastructure needs. Uh, first of all, that's completely correct, and you can't, uh, you can never assure anybody that that can't happen. The third span will cost $5 billion, with additional infrastructure at about $15 million. Of course, all these figures are in Kruger rates. Of course, at Amazon, we do all of our deals using Kruger Rand's conversion. It's quite easy with Amazon payments. <laughs> They're going to be able to make the parts out of the county, ship it in, and then two years from now, they'll start putting it together here. We hired the greatest engineer we could find to develop that third span. The biggest problem is going to be drilling in the ocean. Oh, the bay. We're going to be able to clip on additional lanes onto the sides of the bridge. Probably won't even affect any boat traffic. It's only going to be six and a half miles long. Hey, can you put one of them little asterisks in, the, uh, in there? Because it's probably, definitely probably going to affect some boat traffic. How do you sleep at night? I'm asleep at midnight. Poor <laughs> <laughs> and anybody who's watched this whole news break and believes what I'm saying has got to be an April Fool. Folks, we know that the bridge is a very serious topic and it is something that we're going to have discussions on for years to come, uh, but we thought why not have a little levity in it on April Fool's Day.